Underground space could be really important for us in the future because with the population growing but also moving to cities, we have a real problem with space above ground. So what we're hoping to do is use our underground space much more in the future. But one of the problems is, is that because we can't see what's below our road, below our streets, it's really difficult to assess um, how we deal with it, um, how we can utilise it best. But it is this vast space that we don't actually currently use and if we can move some of, of the functions from above ground, below ground, below the surface, we can actually free up some space above ground. We can use it for green space, for parks, for relaxation. So it could have a real potential for the future to make our cities much more sustainable. Quantum technology could be really important in the way we use underground space. So within the quantum technology hub um, led by the University of Birmingham in sensors and metrology, I'm looking at gravity sensors in civil engineering. And what I do there is to look what's the feasibility of using these to actually look a lot deeper than our existing sensors can do. And if we can look deeper, again, we understand how our underground behaves, how it works, was buried um, below the ground surface, such as sinkholes, mine shafts. And once we know this, we know where the risks are and we know which areas we can use safely. And again, we can utilize it much better in the future. My research is all about sensing technologies for infrastructure and mainly buried infrastructure. The research I do on sensors is particularly important because it gives us all this information and gives us a feedback loop um, once we do any intervention, once we build a tunnel, once we build uh, mine shafts or so, how does that interact with what's already there and what we might put down in the future. So if you think about Crossrail 3, how does that change the underground space in London, for example. The National Buried Infrastructure Facility will allow us to do experiments in the laboratory, but at scale. So we can really simulate the behavior um, in the real world, in the lab, but under controlled conditions. So therefore we can trial the sensors I develop, we can trial different interventions, we can trial and see what happens if we do things with minimal dig or trenchless excavations. So we can actually um, simulate this, um, but as I said, for the first time at real scale in the UK. Thank you.